Minecraft is too easy. Ever since the early days of Minecraft, each update made has aimed to make the game easier in some way, shape, or form. Beds in 1.3 that let you skip the night, elytras in 1.9 that allow you to fly, and totems of undying in 1.11 that literally prevents you from dying. Each update has added something to Minecraft that makes it easier and consequently more boring and less enjoyable to play. All these points were outlined in Jet Starfish's video, so if you'd like more details on that, check them out. But in this video, I'm going to attempt to address this problem and try to make Minecraft more challenging again. Really? How will you do that? Well, with mods, of course. If you watch any of my videos, you should know that's pretty much all I talk about. But I don't watch your videos. Anyway, here are 20 mods that should make Minecraft more challenging and fun again. Oh, and all these mods are available in a mod pack. The link is in the description if you are interested. What a better mod to start off this list than Natural Progression, which pretty much makes everything about the early game in Minecraft harder. Now, punching trees breaks your fists, wood and stone tools are obsolete, and crafting recipes are more complex. First, you'll need stones and sticks, hit the stones to go to get flint, combine flint and sticks to get a flint hatchet. Now, to get wood, first you need to strip a log, mine it, then put it and the flint hatchet in your inventory's crafting grid to get a single wood plank. But that's not all. In order to mine iron, you need bones from animals. Hit bones against flint to get bone shards. Bone shards can be crafted with sticks to get your first usable pickaxe or an early game sword. This next mod makes basic survival more challenging by adding a thirst, stamina, and temperature bar to your HUD. All these bars are pretty self-explanatory, just make sure to keep an eye on them because you'll die if they run out. Also, this mod makes sleep more important, and if you don't get enough of it, guess what? you'll die. Adding seasons to Minecraft definitely makes the game more interesting, but it also makes it more challenging. With the survive mod installed, you will need to watch your temperature levels more closely during the winter and summer, and also keep an eye on your thirst bar in the summer too. If you think this is complex enough, too bad, there's more. This mod requires you to eat a balanced diet of fruits, vegetables, carbs, etc. Eating too little of a certain category will inflict negative status effects, and so will eating too much. The next three mods are pretty simple. No iron farm, which removes iron drops from iron golems. We got runners, which adds variation to mobs' movement speeds. And Illyrion, which rebalances the elytra, requiring campfires to keep you up in the air, not fireworks. So now elytras don't make all other forms of transportation, like rails, horses, and boats, completely obsolete. In the next section, I will cover some mods that make the overworld, mainly the surface, more challenging and interesting to explore. Nothing like a challenge like roaming bands of barbarians that are out to kill you. You can spot their campfire settlements from afar, and if you can avoid being killed, they have some loot stored up for you to grab. Numa's settlements add some structures and a race of interesting mobs that inhabit them. There are pouches, tools, and blocks you can collect from these creatures. And just like the barbarians, they aren't friendly. Barbarians, goblin creatures, and now orcs. This mod adds another, hostile, you guessed it, race of mobs to the overworld. You can find them in structures with some loot. The final mod here is It Takes a Pillage, which expands upon the Illager civilization. You can find camps and castles generating in your world, full of loot and a variety of new dangerous Illager variants. Now to overhaul the caves. What better way to make torches more scary than make them burn out? Now torches will be crafted unlit and will require a matchbox or flint and steel to light them. They also burn out in the rain. Difficult caves makes mobs more powerful the deeper you go underground. This includes zombies and skeletons spawning with leather armor and stone tools at the stone level, and enchanted iron and chainmail gear at deep slate level. To make lower levels and caves even more of a challenge, this mod adds lava monsters to lava pools underground. They shoot fireballs and leave a trail of fire in their wake, so I suggest avoiding them. There's also Monsters Plus, which adds the glowing skeleton and crystalline zombie. You may also stumble across the Hermit Abyssal Walker, which is an absolute menace. A mob called the Lava Squid has been added to the Nether too. Watch out for their mother. The next section is all about progression. First up, the Progressive Difficulty mod, which makes vanilla mobs more powerful when you 1. Go to the nether, and 2. Beat the ender dragon. Some of the changes include the bleeding effect, mobs spawning with armor, groups of hostile mobs, and undead armies. 
there's also progressive bosses, which makes the Wither, Ender Dragon, and Elder Guardian more difficult to defeat each time you kill them. Next is Brutal Bosses, which adds many boss versions of many hostile mobs. These spawn near to and claim chests. In order to open the chest and get what's inside, you have to defeat the boss first. Some of the bosses include Eric the Lurker, Jack the Cold, and this little guy. Don't mess with him, he's basically immortal. This last section is about improving upon and expanding the late game. Before I introduce probably the most challenging mod to this list, first we need a mod to balance out all this extra difficulty. Ores Above Diamonds is a perfect mod for this, as it provides two new ores, Amethyst and Opal, which are more powerful and rarer to find than diamonds. You better craft a full arsenal of weapons from these ores, because the next mod up is Cracker's Witherstorm. This new boss, which was heavily inspired by Minecraft Story Mode's Witherstorm, is extremely powerful and challenging to defeat. A good third boss to add to Minecraft after you've taken down the Ender Dragon and Wither. All you need to do to get started though is find this structure, which always generates at 0, zero and place the Wither Skeleton head here. Then a little Wither Storm will spawn, slowly consuming blocks and gaining strength. But he starts out so small, surely nothing to worry about, right? Oh. Well that's about it. These mods should make Minecraft more interesting by adding an extra challenge to the game and hopefully it makes it more fun for you. But if Minecraft is still too easy for you and you want even more of a challenge, I will be making a part two to this video. In it, I will go from making Minecraft more challenging to nearly impossible. When that video is finished, it will pop up here. Until then, this is what YouTube thinks you should watch next.